welcome back into my kitchen. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your own breadcrumbs. This is awesome because we are going to be making a lot of special dishes that are going to require some breading and I want you to know the ingredients that goes into everything that we make so you have the best for your body. So I want to tell you about our ingredients. Everything is healthy and natural and good for you. I want to explain why. All right, look at this time. This thyme is actually dried, but thyme is fabulous for any upper respiratory problems. In fact, if you have a bit of a cold and some congestion, you can just take about a teaspoonful of thyme, some hot water, and a little honey, and sip on that. It's kind of a natural tea, but it will loosen everything up in the chest. God forbid with flu season, we should keep some of this on hand. Um, the same as oregano, both of these are antioxidants and my oregano is dried as well. It just makes it easier for the baking part of things. Um, they're both antioxidants, great with fiber, great with vitamin C. Time actually aids your digestion. Um, all right, so let's move on to our garlic. <laughs> our garlic is an anti-inflammatory. Um, this is also wonderful if you need to reduce your cholesterol or your blood pressure. You gotta keep some fresh garlic on hand. We know about our olive oil, which I love. Our olive oil is an antioxidant, but it's also packed with omegas, which are the best for brain function. I need it. All right, um, <laughs> we have the Parmesan cheese. The Parmesan cheese is just loaded with calcium and vitamin D. One of the reasons why I like to cook my own foods is because I know where it's come from. For example, breadcrumbs or croutons, they're usually made with white bread. Today, by making our own breadcrumbs, we're using a 12 grain bread. This is all healthy, all wholesome, and it's a wonderful resource of fiber. And it's delicious too. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to begin with two tablespoons of olive oil into a pan. Then we're going to add a teaspoon of garlic, fresh minced garlic. Right there. And then we're going to simmer it up. Okay, once this gets nice and hot, okay, what we're going to do is add separate bowl. Just let that sit for a minute. We're going to add our dry ingredients. So let's put in about two teaspoons full of our spices. And this is a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. See, just in time. Right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer my bread in here. Just a little bit. We always want to cook olive oil on a very low heat. If you don't, it can turn into a bad fat. Nobody's going to ruin my olive oil. So keep it nice and low. Just lay your bread in here. Probably would be enough to start. What you're doing is you're just trying to create some nice moisture on both sides of the bread. So it soaks in. Okay. Looks like garlic bread, doesn't it? <laughs> can do that another time. Okay, now that these are moist, we'll toss. We're going to put them in our dry ingredients. I gotta get that garlic out. That is so delicious. So good for you. Okay, now just give these a little toss so everything has some coating on them. Okay. 
I know you want to have this for dinner tonight, don't you? It looks too good. You know me, I think thick is best, nice and chunky. So don't leave anything in the bowl. Now these are going to go into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until they're nice and golden brown at about 300 degrees. Okay, our breadcrumbs are ready. Let's see how we did. and golden brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and put them into my food processor. Yeah, they're just nice and crunchy, sort of like toast. You want to cut them in half to make them fit, depending on how big your food processor is. You do that as well. I got a little baby one. Let's cut some of these up. Just makes you want to eat them as is. Now you know how to make your own wholesome, healthy breadcrumbs for any dish. I'm Karen Armstrong. I need you to eat well and be well.